How do we arrange and align pictures in Excel? As we saw in a previous chapter, I can arrange these pictures on my spreadsheet so that they show up in different order. Right now, for example, this beam is behind this picture of the figure projection. And if I want to bring it to the front, I can click Bring Forward and it'll come to the front of the image. Same thing with this smiley face here. I can click right here on Bring Forward. And it does nothing currently because there's nothing that it can go ahead of. But if I go to that menu again and click bring to front, it's going to move all the way ahead of this sales projection image. That's the first thing you can do with images. You can arrange them front to back or back to front. Now you can also align pictures. For example, if you have this picture here and this picture here, you could align them approximately by hand. That's one way to do it. But there's a way to automatically align them. See, if you really pay attention here, no matter how close you get it, it always looks kind of out of line. So if you want it to match up perfectly, here's what you do. All these options, by the way, for arranging and aligning pictures, you can find in the Format Context menu. If you remember from a previous chapter, a context menu is something that appears only when you've done something specific in Excel. And in this case, what we need to do is have a picture selected. As soon as we touch a picture so that it's selected, we get this context menu, which says Format. And inside this Format menu is where we find the Arrange options, which allow us to align, rotate, as well as all these other options that allow us to work with images. Okay, so getting back to aligning, if you look at a range here, there's this option which says align objects. And if I bring the drop down, see I can align left, center, right, top, middle, bottom, or distribute the images. That distribute option is really interesting and we're going to see how it works in a few minutes. But for now, if we wanted to align these images so that the left sides match up, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the first one, click on the second one, hold down control so both images are selected. You see I clicked here, then I'm holding down the control key and I'm clicking on the second one so that it gets selected. And now both images are selected. I'm going to go to the format menu, go to align, and I'm going to select align left. And when I align left, the left side of the image is going to line up one with another. See? And both images are now aligned to the left. I can also align the center of the image. So the center of this image, which is right here, is going to align with the center of this image, which is right here. And align center. And there you go. Or you can align right. And the right sides are going to match up. If you're trying to do it vertically, for example, with those two, and let's add these two into the mix. Remember, hold down control when you're clicking and then align and you select here align middle and now all the images have their middles aligned right there now i was telling you about the other option which is distribute now distribute allows us to take a whole bunch of images and spread them out over a certain space let's start by copying this image a few times and you can either press control c and control v like that or you can use the copy and paste commands like that. Or you can select your image, hold down control, and drag it. And when you drag the images while holding down control, you make copies like that. That's a really quick way to duplicate images if you should have the need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread these out so they're distributed equally. I take the first one and I take the last one and I put it on the first position and on the last position like that. Then I'm going to select all the images, all these five arrows, and I'm going to the format menu. And inside the format menu, I'm going to select the line. And instead of aligning, well, for starters, I'm going to align the middle so they line up. You know, there's nothing worse than zigzagging arrows like that. And then I'm going to say distribute horizontally. And what Excel is going to do is it's going to find the first one, find the last one, 
and distribute the rest so they're equally spaced along that line. See, distribute horizontally, and now we have perfect equal spacing along the arrows. Going to do the same with these down here. Let's say from there to there, or maybe a little bit shorter like that. Then I'm going to select all three arrows. I'm going to align the middle. And finally, I'm going to distribute horizontally. And as you can see, the center arrow just moved into a position where they're all equally distributed. Now let's say that I wanted to merge these two lines of arrows like that. I can also distribute them. Now when you start to have a lot of images like that, in fact, I'm going to do another example of that. Let's add even more arrows like that. Now if I had to select these one by one, it would be a total pain. So instead of that, we're going to use something called an object selector in Excel. And that's simply a different kind of arrow for selection. You find it here on the Home tab. Go to the Home tab. Then here where it says Find and Select, open this dropdown. And in the dropdown, you're going to find this thing which says Select Objects. What that does is it changes your cursor into an arrow. Remember that before, our cursor was actually a cell marker. But, in this case, it's an arrow. And if I click anywhere on the spreadsheet, right here I'm clicking all over the place, I don't select any cells. The only things I can select while I'm in arrow mode are images or objects. So that makes it really easy to select all these things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click and I'm going to drag a box all the way across. And now I've just selected all my arrows. And with that done, I can remove this. I can deactivate select objects. This option doesn't deactivate unless you manually deactivate it. So remember after you're done to deactivate it. And there we go. Now I get my normal cell marker cursor again. But I've selected all of these. So I'm going to go to the format menu. I'm going to select the line, align the middle, and I'm going to distribute these horizontally. And now I have perfectly evenly spaced arrows. And in fact, if I take this one and move it all the way to the left, I can easily redistribute the rest. Like that. Go to Format, Align, Distribute Horizontally. And my arrows are perfectly spaced. And then at the end, just remember to deactivate the Select Objects arrow. So that's how you arrange and align pictures in Excel. Remember all these commands you can find by clicking on an image and while it's selected, clicking on the format menu. And remember, these distribute commands, those are my favorites because they're really useful and you use them a lot, especially when you're working with a whole lot of images like this. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and to visit our website, cubicleoverlords.com, for more instructional videos like this one.